HelpSpot includes several ways of creating new requests and interacting with requests. However, email is going to be a primary way that in requests are both created and interacted with in most installations. Before you can start using email in HelpSpot, you need to configure the email settings, and we'll do that in the admin area. The first area that we'll configure is the email mailboxes. Now in this installation, I already have a couple of email mailboxes set up. I'm going to go ahead and select one of these ones that I already have selected, and we'll walk through the settings. However, if you were adding a new email mailbox, you would use this Add Mailbox section here below. The first setting that I have right here at the top is the account name. Now the account name is simply going to be the name that you assign the email mailbox for HelpSpot to use. This name is going to be shown in emails that are sent from this email mailbox. With that in mind, you might want to add some personalization to this account name by using placeholders. We provide a quick picker right here that allows you to choose some common placeholders you might want to use. So for example, if I want to insert the assigned staff member's first name, I could go ahead and do that. And now whenever a customer received an email from this mailbox, it would show the assigned staff member's first name and then a dash and then customer support. In this case, we're just going to leave this at the generic customer support for right now. The next field that I have here is the reply to email account. Now, this is going to be the email address that maps to this email mailbox. So for example, if I was going to log this email mailbox into the training.helpspot.com account, that would be the address I would want to put in this area. My next option is the particular mailbox within the account that I want to retrieve email from. Now this is going to be the IMAP folder that is retrieved. So in 99% of cases, this is going to be inbox, which is the default. However, you can retrieve mail from a different IMAP folder if you wish. It's good to note here right now that any email that is in this folder will be deleted from that folder once it is retrieved by HelpSpot. The next settings I have here are the host name, the username, and then the password for the account. The host name is going to be the address of your email server. And then the username and password are going to be those credentials that you use to log into the account. Finally, down here, I have the account type, port, and security type. Each of these settings are going to be dictated by your email server setup. In this case, I have a IMAPS connection that I'm making. I'm port 993. Now underneath the connection settings, I have another set of settings that are going to control what HelpSpot does with the email it receives from this mailbox. The first setting is a default category. So in this case, if I wanted to choose one of my categories to be the default category for this mailbox, any messages that are received by this mailbox would be assigned that default category. I can also turn on a auto reply, which will send an automatic reply back to the customer when they email this email address. The format of that auto reply is set up here down below in the email templates. Each of these email templates found here is specific for this mailbox. So you can customize each mailbox's email templates to reflect specifically what you want for that mailbox. This is great for branding. If you have multiple brands that you're serving, you can have separate email templates for each email address that relates to each brand. Right up above that, I have the outbound email settings. And this is a set of settings that we'll take a look at in just a second. Now you can select to have separate outbound settings for each email mailbox. But there's also a set of default settings that you need to set up in the admin area. Let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. So I'm going to go over to settings. 
and then go to email integration. Now this is where we set up our default outbound SMTP server. This is going to be the default method which we use to, to send messages out of HelpSpot. Now, as noted earlier, you can set up separate settings for each mailbox. However, you will still want to have this default setting in place for staff notifications and other emails that HelpSpot needs to send out. Each of these settings are going to be settings that you will obtain from your email server, and you'll just want to put them in the appropriate places here in the email integration area. After you've set up your SMTP settings and your email mailboxes, HelpSpot will begin checking those email mailboxes and creating new requests and updating requests as new mail is received in them. 